All right, we're gonna go over a, uh, basically an overhead shoulder flexion pattern. It's called a D1 flexion pattern. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is you're gonna have a resistance above, above you to the side. Um, a band is preferable just because it's going to give you a challenge both directions. But what I want you to do is think about your core when you're doing this movement. So you're going to initiate kind of a, a crunch with your abs and stability at your shoulder. So you want your shoulder set, abs engaged, and you're just gonna power down, power down. And you're just going to repeat. And then if you could want to add a little extra challenge, you're gonna do an eccentric move back. So obviously the further away from a resistance band, the more challenging it will be, but you want to get the motor pattern where you're engaging your abs before you're doing the movement. That way the shoulder isn't just moving freely in space and it's gonna keep the shoulder safer. It's also going to add some oblique strength. So that is the D1 flexion pattern for the shoulder. Give it a shot, see how it goes. And um, I would say anywhere between 10 to 12 reps on each shoulder and you want it to be fairly challenging so at the end of the reps you're feeling sufficiently um, fatigued in the shoulder, but not to the point of failure.